Alrighty, my friends. This one is a sweet story. It gets a little sad in parts, but the ending is beautiful. But if you don't like sad stories, you might want to choose a different video. But it is beautiful, and it does have a happy ending, I promise. I would never read you something with a sad ending. So the story is called Pandora, and you can kind of tell just by the cover that it is just beautiful and sweet. And that's Pandora. And this book is so new, it doesn't even have a plastic cover on it yet. But I fell in love when I saw it and just had to get it for you guys. Pandora lived alone in a land of broken things. She made herself a handsome home from all that people had left behind, but no one ever came to visit. So she spent her time gardening and repairing what she could, bringing lost and forgotten things back to life. And then, one day, something fell from the sky. It was broken too, but Pandora didn't know how to fix it. So she made it as snug as she could and she watched over it through the night. Pandora's guest was a little weak at first, but as the days went by, she grew stronger. Soon he could hop about and then fly short distances. But with gifts from faraway lands, he always came back. Until one day, he didn't. That's his little nest that she had made for him in the box with a feather. Once again, Pandora was alone. And she thought her heart would break. But day by day, the world appeared a little less gray. See what's happening here, the seed that the bird had brought back starts to grow. Until one morning Pandora woke in the warmth of the sun to hear the sound of bird song. In a land of living things. I love when you can take a book and compare two parts of it. So here was Pandora's home in the beginning, and there it is in the end. Isn't that amazing? 